All right. And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, dale, it's dale. the Dad's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, let's go. <laughs> With masterpiece being brought up, what's up with my man Riggs, man? What uh, we got? What we got musically, man? What we got dropping, man? I mean, these days I'm more engineer than rapper, so mm. you know I'm mixing a lot of projects like Joshua Penn, aka Young Josh, from a couple years back. Okay, ah, so, yeah, from Philly. Coming out, yeah. So I've been working on his album. Um, you know, I help. Put it together well he had a lot of music you know what i'm saying he had like three albums worth of music wow and he was wow. just sitting on and um he couldn't make a decision so you know he hired me on board i chose 12 tracks for him nice um, that i think go together okay so you a and r too you know you're not just mixing yeah right. because yeah that's oh. just the way my mind works that's always been right. kind of my gift you know i mean even before i was really doing the, the studio thing you know what i'm saying i'm like right you know, for a body of work, you want someone to be able to sit through it from beginning to end. Right. You know, and, and artists who are just artists, they can't really see the, you know, from up looking down, like the higher level looking down. So they'll right. just pick their favorite songs, put them together and call it an album. Right. And um, you got to, you know, you got to take people's listening experiences somewhere. So um all the songs was was fire, and y'all know I'm a critic. I don't be liking stuff, so right. Um, I'd be like, <laughs> That's why we brought you on. <laughs> yeah, you know, but um, I liked majority, if not all, the songs. So I said, put the ones together that make sense, especially coming back out after all these years. Mm -hmm. You know, so how um, long has it been for him? It's been a while, right? Uh, I want to say 2014, maybe. Wow, uh, was the last project I think. Um, but yo, this joint is fire like i've i've had it for some months now and i still listen to it so i'm mixing and mastering that right now i'm about 60 percent done with it um so that should be out soon um i'm working on an ep with sayla i'm producing the whole thing what let's go yeah, you know what i'm saying you've been you've been hearing the stuff he put out you know what I'm saying with Fern, so he's he's in that gutter bag. So you right. know, he called, right. he called me like, "I right, I'm ready," <laughs> you know, because you know that's my zone. So he's like the best kept secret too, man. I don't think a lot. I think a lot of people sleep on him, man. Yeah, yeah, but he, I, I mean, he'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? I tell him because he's doing what everybody else do, not what he do. Right. You know what I'm saying he's showing his versatility, and my thing is, I right, we know you're versatile. Now do you, you right? mm -hmm. and um i think now he's getting more in that zone and um he's seeing you know the results of it and the response so right uh we're putting an ep together i'm producing the whole thing because actually hoodie season three was supposed to be that i was supposed to produce the whole thing but i ended Got up it. producing like four joints on there instead but um yeah so i'm working on that i'm possibly working on and you you got you had you had a verse on that with Voss, right yeah, I had two verses on the project. Two verses? The, okay. Yeah, the one with Voss and the other one, NYCHH. I okay. think it's cool. With me, yeah. him, and Precise. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and I'm working on possibly another album right now. Uh, possibly? In, yeah, because I'm in the early stages. Like the, Again, the way my mind works, I don't just make songs and put them together and call it an album. Like I got to have a reason. Like If I feel like God ain't giving me nothing to say, I'm not gonna rap. Mm, right. I'm not super in love with it like that, you know. Right. Um, but if he gives me something to say, then I kind of create a world. I approach albums like films. That's right. why the masterpiece sounded the way it did. You right. know what I'm saying? So I have like my first act, my second act, my third act. So if I don't have that in place, I'm not gonna make music. Once I have that in place, then I know the songs I need to carry out, you know what I mean, that 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 audio visual type of right. thing now masterpiece was your first album right second second so, album. yeah the first one was new york renaissance um i dropped that 2012 2012 I dropped that yeah and that was more so like 
I just got to get this out of my system. So it's me just, you know, having fun, rapping, putting stuff together. And yeah. again, that New York vibe that even from then yeah. I felt like was missing. You know what I mean? So it was the culmination of like everything before it up to 2012 when it came out, you know? So, and with that album, a lot of the process, I was literally walking through Queensbridge, sitting down on the bench by the basketball court, writing song called Project Bench. You know what I'm saying? While I was literally there, you know, at the Brooklyn Bridge, writing another record. I mean, listening to beats while I'm on the train, like just kind of soaking that all experience. that experience. Yeah, you know, and bringing that. And then with Masterpiece, like I said, it was more like film oriented. I had a story. I wanted to tell my story, but not the typical way people tell their story. And, yeah. you know, we in the era of playlists singles nobody really listens to bodies of work anymore right. so me being me instead of going with the wave i'm about changing the guard you know what i'm saying so i'm like all right what will make someone want to listen to an album mm. and that's kind of how i built that project where the songs individually they could live and do their thing but as a body of work you kind of just will let it run like watching a movie yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though you've seen the movie, you're like, oh, I'm in a mood to watch, you know what I'm saying? Dark Knight Rises today. Like, mm -hmm. and you just kind of have it on and let it run. So, um, yeah. And I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. Just have that approach um, now, do you, to, to my projects. Do you like engineering more? Do you like uh, rapping more? It's, like, it goes in phases. Like, right now, I'm loving engineering. Um, and then I get in these modes where I love producing more. Like, mm -hmm. rap is probably my last on the list, usually. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it was just like, cause I'm not, yeah, because I'm not really talkative. So it's like, once I say what I got to say, ain't really much else to say unless I experience something so different that I got you something to say it about down. it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I don't really got that much to say. So engineering, I feel like I create a feel. You know what I'm saying? I can mm, manipulate right. feels and vibes and you know what I'm saying? I, I get that from engineering. It's like coding because I code too. So like for me, it's it's the same thing where I'm kind of, I got this palette and you kind of give me all these elements and I can make it whatever I want to make it. And I kind of get that with producing too. So that's why I kind of, I get in my producer bag if I don't feel like engineering, you know. Now do you do videos too? Videography? No. No? no. Okay. I hate I hate, oh, I'm messing with that. <laughs> I hate that was nah. you know, and that was something that I noticed too. I was like, I, I didn't see you drop any videos for your last project. Yeah, well, the plan was like I said, I I created it like a film. So that plan was to actually do a video for every song. Hmm. That was the original plan. Um, and I had somebody doing it and um well AI. AI was gonna shoot all my videos. But the fact that she's all the way in Buffalo kind of made it tough for right. me being in New York City. So she came out, you know, spent the weekend here. We shot, uh, we shot a video, but overall it wasn't gonna work out the way I wanted it to. Yeah. And I know a lot of people that do video, but not everybody got an eye. And I really respect her eye. Yeah. Yeah, she's so, nice. Yeah, like she's incredible with the art. And we're like, like Josh always like, yo, you and I, Tina, are just similar when it comes to that art thing. Like right. we speak a language that she knows what I'm saying without me saying it and vice versa. So it kind of just made sense, you know, to to do it that way. Um, and it was going to, you know, like a barter thing because I had mixed her last project that had came out, uh, Black right. Canvas, Black Canvas. Mm -hmm. I mixed that project. So she was going to do the videos for me. So. Um, wow. Long story short, you know, videos is a lot of work and then with the distance, so it didn't work out that way. And I kind of figured that could happen. So I kind of made the music not trendy in case I wanted to drop a video two, three years later. It could still right. be relevant. All right, it's not dated, so, right. Yeah, so it's possible that that could still happen because um, it's still something I want to do. And that's kind of also... Real dope. That's kind of what also prevents me from going full steam ahead with another album because I'm like, I didn't fully get out everything I wanted with this one mm, yet. Got you it. know what I mean? Without the visuals. But um, but either way, you know, I'm still crafting. So right now I'm sitting on one new song. I'm just kind of sitting on it because, again, I don't really know if it'll fit depending on where I'm going. Right. Where I'm not going. So, you know, we'll see what it turns out to be. So, But right now I'm just mixing everybody's.
Ooh. project. Like, so I got you, my hands in something. <laughs> yeah. So you mixed AI's album. Um, who else have you mixed this? That's in the CHH uh, industry. I mixed some of Hoodie <clears throat> Season Three for Sela. Um, I actually just did a record <laughs> with the OG world famous Curtis Blow. Wow. Oh wow! Yeah, I just mixed the record that he's on, and he liked it so much. He's actually gonna do another one. Um, wow! Yo! Wow! Yeah, that's so, wow. Yeah, him. <laughs> um, I got a joint I'm sitting on with um, Rock Nest Monster from Helter Skelter. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've been sitting on that for a while. Um, who else? A couple people. You know, I can't think of everything nice. right now, but um. You know, so a couple should, of lesser known artists. Um, so should the CHH artists start reaching out to you to get their stuff mixed and mastered? Oh, I'm or, the or, go-to. I'm the go-to. Okay, guy. okay, all right. I'm gonna start working on my or, album. Or, or, or they gotta, or you got, they gotta, you gotta pray about it first, and then you gotta reach out to them. Nah, I'm the go-to. <laughs> like, guy. Don't just, call me. Just do it. I'll, just do it. So like, I, I went to. Uh, uh, you gotta yeah. charge a tolerance fee for that. <laughs> <laughs> I went to an event, um, an award show right before COVID hit, and somebody came up to me that live in Florida, and it was like, "Yo, I heard you the go-to guy in New York." I said, "You heard right." <laughs> <laughs> but yo, y'all heard it right here, man. My man Riggs is the go-to guy. Yeah. He gonna be dropping something hopefully soon. I'm doing, <laughs> and I'm still doing features in the meantime. You know what I'm saying? Like when I get the call to drop a 16, I do that. So I probably nice. got like four features coming out that I haven't dropped yet. From nice. That's so, dope. Dope. Where can, where can people find you, Riggs? Right here on That's Not Christian. Well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo, 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 are you going, are you going to bring back uh, the great debaters? I think about it. You know what I'm saying yeah. if I get a video editor, I bring it back because you know I had you know I had a couple of dope guests. I had Akon's engineer on there, right? You know and I had uh, I was gonna have one of the members from Wu Tang on there. Like things was opening up for me, you know what I'm saying. But it's just the editing part. I was doing right. everything in the house and with all the other hats I wear. From I'm mixing this one's album. I'm producing for this one. I'm still right. writing features for this one. You know. Like me being a triple threat with the audio, and I'm really I take all three of those things serious. Like, I, right? You don't want to compromise, right? <laughs> yeah, to learn something else new now, it's like you gotta have a team. Like, you know, you can't do every single thing. You get burned right. out. Like, I still right. have a day job. I got a family, so mm -hmm. I can't do it all. So, you know, I don't mind the recording part, but when it comes to editing, like, if I don't got somebody to do that, I don't know if that will come back, but. We'll see, man. The Lord provides, you know. So For real. that's real. It always seems nope. like you always um, like I know you in the audio chat, and it's always like you're still like you're still one of those who's still like a student. Not in the sense that uh, you know, like you're a novice, but it's always like you're always learning. Like you, it, it always seems like you always just want to learn, learn more about. That's just craft. how I live my life in general. You got to be teachable all the time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's like, dope. In my walk. I'm like that when it comes to music. That's why I got so much better at my mixing and my mastering, you know, to where I retain all my clients because I know what I'm doing and I'm still teachable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Getting better, producing, rapping. You know, I, I'm trying to be the best at all three. Like, I want to be able to say nobody that does all three is better than me. <laughs> not, not out of arrogance, but because I put that time and I put that. Right. Time. You put in the work, right. It's gonna take me serious for all all three because there was a point in time where they said Kanye could only produce, he can't rap. Mm -hmm. And no, he's not the best lyricist, he's one of the best artists and producers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Drake is one of the best rappers and singers that does both. You know what right. I'm saying? You know, um Dre don't write his stuff, but as an artist and a producer and as an engineer, he gets his props. So um Again, I'm I'm about the changing of the guard. Whatever the wave is, triple that rigs. The other thing. You know what I mean? So when it <laughs> comes next to, album, when it comes to bars, beats, and mixing, I'm the go-to. Let's go. <laughs> go-to rigs. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's the next triple album. Triple threat right there. Bars, beats, and mixing. <laughs> well, what, rigs, what's your handle? Where can people find you? Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. It's Facebook, Riggs Carrington. Instagram, Riggs Carrington. <laughs> it's uh Twitter, Rick Carrington. I'm not on Twitter as much, but 
you can find me there um yeah and i'm easy telegram streets right yeah i'm in these telegram streets heavy i run telegram now i'm playing (laughs) (laughs) but yeah you know i'm I'm accessible and i respond to most people i mean unless you ask me something stupid then i'm gonna leave (laughs) you on my bread but you know to most people (laughs) (laughs) i'm just saying i keep it real some people are some things i see i'm like no i'm not giving time to that (laughs) dope dope well, yeah, with that being said, we want to thank Riggs for coming on. Thank you for listening. Yes, Appreciate you, bro. We, we're, we want to make sure. Me. Yeah, make, we want to make sure um, you hit the subscribe button and also check out the channel sponsor, Eurific. It's still sanitizing wands. Get them while they're hot. Go to Eurific.com. Use promo code TNC to get $10 off and free shipping. And don't forget, we got new merch out on shop that that's not christian.com so go copy yourself a sweater a watch shirt mouth, a beloved. mug yeah there you go watch your mouth <laughs> beloved and some new stuff that, that we're cooking up so you'll see it soon just make sure you check back uh all right we'll see you next week peace peace, peace.